Hello and welcome to the Bet Bright Football Manager Project. We're delighted that Bet Bright are behind us now. We think they're behind the project more than the individuals involved. Um, it, it's a great thing for the set pieces, it's a great thing for this, it means that we can do so much more. Starting today with the old firm Derby. Now, I do need to address something straight away. I have not worn a suit to play football manager. I had a, a job doing something else first of all. I swear behind that is the absolute truth. But this is still probably the, the most important game of football manager I've ever played because it's, it's not against football manager. It's against Alex Stewart, who is, of course, the manager of Rangers. And in a minute, Alex is going to tell you a bit about how his season's going. Um, mine hasn't been great. It, it's not been as disastrous as has been made out on social media. Um, I mean, there are positives if you ignore that big red blodge of Atletico Madrid handing my balls to me in a doggy bag. But prior to that, look at all these clean sheets. That's what we got in the game for, isn't it? The clean sheets. Unfortunately, there, there haven't really been enough victories. So we've made the Champions League group stage, and, and, and what a delight it's been already. Um, but we're not, we're not actually winning games in the Premiership, and I, I don't want to make this out to be too big a thing, but if we don't win today, I'm probably in a lot of trouble in the game, and in reality with our new friends at Betbright, who may not be that forgiving to this kind of ineptitude. However, I'm up against Alex, and Alex hasn't had a particularly easy start to the season either. Alex, what's happened? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know what's happened. We've lost more games than I would have anticipated. Um, we are, of course, two places ahead of you. Um, but rather than uh, drawing, which you seem to do quite a lot, we've won a number and then lost a number. Um, I've made a tactical shift um, to three at the back. It seems very in vogue in there. Premier League, so I thought I'd give it a go in the Premiership as well, um, and that produced a 3 0 win at Hamilton and some good football. So I'm feeling reasonably confident going into this, um, but I don't want to over egg that in case I balls it up horribly. Are there any injury problems? Lee Wallace is playing with an injection. Um, okay. Obviously, as a uh, playing three at the back, Lee Wallace is quite important right. to my formation as a wing back, so I'm really quite worried about so, that. So what you're saying is Lee Wallace is going to tire <laughs> and he's susceptible to injury. Um, okay. and, and indeed there's no cover for him, so uh, just just putting that out there for you. Okay, I look forward need to that. The help you can get. Well, without further ado, let's, uh, let's progress to the, uh, to the start screen. So, that's not the right button. <laughs> Come on computer. Right, we're, we're going to skip through this because they almost never say anything particularly important. I'm um, being asked if I'll field a weakened team against Rangers. I'm not sure anyone would know if I did. I'll be playing the strongest squad available to me. Um, and yes, we're going to play with a good tempo and plenty of passion. I think passion is definitely the key. Um, and there are a lot of questions. It, it seems there's, there's no small amount of media interest here. <laughs> Are you at all there concerned that Ian McIntosh is the more even-keeled manager ahead of the match? Why am I an even-keeled I, I genuinely don't know. I'm going to say I don't know or care how you're handling it, even, <laughs> even though you're sat next to me. I thought we were friends. I could ask you, couldn't I? How are you handling it? Not good, to be no, honest. Not, not good. So. I didn't sleep much last night. No. I can see the way you've loosened your tie there. And yeah, the sweat is, is, yeah. is building up a lot, and, um, and, and it's all I've been able to think about. If you give us a continue, well, um, are you still talking to journalists? No, man. Oh my God, even more questions. Alex Stewart seems a bit overawed by the sense of occasion. How will you be looking to capitalise on his mental state? Um, I He's think it's quite surprising. Me. He's clearly shitting his <laughs> pants. There we go. Yeah, I'm very confident. I'm very confident. Um, yeah, I'm confident of getting a good result. Yeah, let's go. I feel like I might have done your team talk for you there. Um, but equally, you know, it's, it's a crucial clash of seventh versus ninth. Are you I confident with home advantage, Alex? I think home advantage will help. It's going to allow me to play a more aggressive style of football. Aggressive. Not Scott Brown aggressive, obviously, because I'm not suicidal. But 
Yeah, we'll be pressing a lot, closing down a lot. That's good. We'll see how That's that good that that leaves lots of gaps. No, it's through at the back, yeah. Oh, there'll be gaps. There'll be gaps. Right, um, you'll see up here my team selection. Um, Stuart Armstrong appears to have picked up some kind of knock. He's my box-to-box -box midfielder and, and generally does quite well for me, which, which means Tom Rodgick can come back in. And he's not actually that good at that, is he? Oh, God, I don't want to play Chopper Brown as a box-to-box -box midfielder. He'll get us killed. And yeah, it's too early to risk Christopher Ager. So I think he's going to have to come in. So, I've got Dembele basically being allowed to do what he wants. Sinclair and Roberts as inside forwards trying to get near him and support him. Chopper Brown as my box-to-box -box midfielder. Hopefully far enough up, up the pitch. Some of you have been telling me that if you put him further up the pitch, he can cause less damage. We'll see if that goes today. Uh, McGregor's been fantastic. Bitten uh, can hopefully make things. Fullbacks will get forward. Uh, we're playing a sort of counter-attacking game, kind of simple, closing down when we haven't got the ball. And I don't want to say anything else um, because I don't want to help Alex at all, in any way. Uh, so I'm ready to submit my team. Yeah, I'm going with <laughs> Machado and Ghana up front and McKay and behind them. Um, we'll have a look at that just as we get to the oh, yeah, um, warm up stream because then I'll be able to um, uh, get yeah. on there. So you throw a continue out. That's been done. Just uh, yeah, there we go. in terms of uh, comments here from the readers, uh, this could be the end for Ian McIntosh. Well, Ian, Ian wearing a suit with the top button undone is just perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so you see Alex uh, has, has gone very attacking. Three big dangers up top. Yeah. But are they three big dangers at the back? Send her us. I'm, I'm looking forward to Barton versus Brown. I think that could be a, a clash Jesus. for the ages. This is going to end up as a five aside, isn't it? <laughs> yes. uh, are we going comprehensive or extended? Oh, we'll go extended. People have got work to do. Oh, they look like us, yeah. Um, right, continue to team talk. Expect to see a much better performance. Yeah, lots of green. We like green. You ready, Alex? Um, just setting some player instructions. We should have considered that. That would have helped. <laughs> Seems a little late now. I think, I think we'll just let them take care of it themselves. How did your last match go against Atletico Madrid? Did it feel you feel that confidence in? It didn't go well. Uh, we started with a very defensive 4 5 1, and uh, they were 3 0 up in half an hour. Um, then moving to the formation we're about to play now. We got one back and eventually lost 4-1. It wasn't great, but Chopper Brown played and didn't get sent off, so it's it's not it's not all bad. Right. Oh, good luck. Oh, that tans are sweating. <laughs> really, I'm very clammy. I do not want to be inside this shirt. See, that felt like it was going somewhere. Mm. I'm just making the first change and exploiting the right flank as much as possible. There's, I can't really keep any secrets from Alex here. Tight first 10 minutes. Our passing has been shocking. That's a deliberate ploy. Chopper Brown is still on the pitch. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, thank you. That's a centre back out there, that's total football. But we have a special plan for getting rid of the corners. I call it counter corner. When they're that bad, See? It's going to be Look too at it go. <laughs> Look at Barton's pace there. Yeah, it's it's incredible. incredible. Just let that roll away. I don't, I don't like the way we haven't had a highlight in the first 20 minutes. But, you know, to, to not be losing or down to 10 men is always pleasant. Right. Sinclair. Who are you? Hey, who are you? Who are you? Christian Gamboa, not the man I expected to score. Mainly because I didn't expect to score. But we'll take that. We'll Paid off having him on finishing and training all week, hasn't it? We've been doing a lot of attacking movement training, and I think I think that's evident there. Um, yeah, very, very happy with that. Early doors, though. Very early doors. Please, Miss Sinclair, here. 
do we need to we did miss him when he was out see that's it's a fortunate deflection he should have dived whoever that one is yeah it's at this point that you wish there would be no more highlights whatsoever Roberts Dembele my god it was too good to be true. Because <laughs> there is a, another problem with having Chopper Brown that forward that he will occasionally have shots. It was a little ponderous, that, wasn't it? That is an appalling call. Right, now break. Break quickly, as you've been asked to. Right, that man is, he's been injected. Mm -hmm. He's been injected, that's the only way he's playing. Isn't we need that? to kick lumps out of him. Shader's got a gashed head. Right, I'm bringing on Doo Doo, or Do Doo, <laughs> however one says it. Oh my god, Chopper Brown's through on goal again. Please pass it to someone else. Thank you. I'm not sure my high press is quite working. Oh no, it's really not working. Tom Rockingham has asked for you to do the party shuffle after scoring. <laughs> do you see, how he did that in an FA Cup, I'll never know because I'm not even going to do it for a computer game. I'm you, far, even if it was like the 88th minute. You were only missing the flower. <laughs> I'm sweating so much. <laughs> There's a serious risk of dehydration here. This is really bad. This is going really badly. We're only halfway through and I've got to reassure you I have so many ways of ruining this. 2 0 is a dangerous scoreline, It is. It is a dangerous scoreline. Yeah, it's my job security. Okay. And we're, <laughs> we're going aggressive. It's just, I don't even want to say anything because if I fill that screen with red, and it's this kind of bravery that's really made me the football manager I am today, um, I, think, I think we've got to warn them against complacency. Really? That's a dangerous play. Don't get inside my head, Mark. I can't, I can't send the lads out there without saying anything extra. No, that never works. No. We might have a solid lead, but that could all still change to keep your performance up. Like, That's just good advice. Gamboa, you've betrayed me. But everyone else is alright. Keep a very careful eye on Gamboa. Perhaps he lacks the stomach for this sort of thing. I brought Rossa to run for Barton. Yeah, should we just have a quick look at how you're lining up? I think that's the kind of thing a good manager would do. Derek Horrigan, uh, Alex, he says, get stuck into them, McIntosh rides far better when he's sinking. <laughs> no comment on whether that's just FM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Oh, well done on keeping our performance levels up, boys. And Kit McQuaid says, Ian, let's watch Mac and make changes to a template that's working and watch it all fall apart. <laughs> the love that I feel coming through the wires right now it is, it is palpable. Right, near Britain is fading fast. Gambo is the best player on the pitch, but is lacking confidence. There are things I can do to change. And yet. And yet. Disallowed. Disallowed. Very glad I didn't part you celebrate. I don't know why it's been disallowed. Didn't seem anything particularly wrong with that. That's it. Keep moving the ball around. Keep moving it around. Don't give it to him. Oh, do give it to no, him. No, 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 no. Well, that's, that's disappointing. That's very disappointing. 2 0 still doesn't feel enough. Fuck! What are you doing with those corners? Right. I. I'm giving serious consideration to having him actually sacked for that. Right, near Britain has got to come off. But Rogic's a, a good straight swap. And. I, I, that, you can't take corners like that. Sweet. Jesus. Right, we'll have to change that immediately. No more near, near, near post decoys. 
In, uh, in terms of lookalikes, uh, Bet Bright have said it's like Charlie Austin versus Sam Smith here in the studio. I'm enjoying that Sam Which Smith. Uh, <laughs> Which one's which? You, you're, you're Sam Smith. I'm going to have to Google images. Is he the man who sings very high pitched? He, he sang the last Bond uh, theme tune. I can't remember what it looks like. Charlie Austin plays a yeah. film for Southampton. You probably used to. I, <laughs> I am. I am cognizant of that. Right. Right. McKay's coming, coming off and Holt's coming on, and I'm. Are you changing your formation at all? No. I'm, I'm just. I'm just really angry. Sam Smith, you say. And they, these are our paymasters. That's just mean. <laughs> I think it's it's very accurate. He's got big eyes. He's got a big heart too. Has he? Very high pitched voice. Very nice voice if you're watching Sam. Um, I, I did, you know. I feel I'm digging a hole here. 27 minutes to go. 27 minutes not to, you know, give away a dangerous corner, put unnecessary pressure on. Now here's our counter corner. Get the ball to the quickies. Bang. One winger to another. Are you, are you going to challenge? Or are you? Okay. Could have worked better. Michael Perkins says, is Marcus Pocket Square genuine or is it sewn on like one of those Matalan suits? <laughs> Sewn on like a Matalan suit! <laughs> Can't be trusted with bonding. Outside you, outside you. Thank you. Now, no lack of confidence here, young man. Ball in, ball in, ball in. Oh, chopper. Who knew? It is worth noting that I've got Rob Kinn and Philip Sanderos in my back three, so. I, I care nothing for your issues. Nothing at all. Could be worse, it could be Clint Hill. Uh, Steve, Stephen Roberts says, Alex, uh, your change of formation involves putting three deck chairs up front and the rest on the port and starboard sides. <laughs> <laughs> and Philip McGrath says, Alex is suppressing some serious FM rage, which <laughs> is getting warm in this room. No comment. Go on, man. That's it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Not, not over there. 19 minutes. I don't really want to make any changes whatsoever. Primarily to the scoreline. Similovic is down to 65%, but I feel subbing a centre back. No, he's down to 60%. He's got to go. Dedrick Boyata. This is the football manager equivalent of walking down into the cellar to check out that awful noise. But I can't have a defender on 60%. I've, I've pushed my wing backs into wide midfield positions now. Have you? I have. Can I, can I see that? Yes. Oh no, it doesn't. Well, it's it, waiting for you. It's happened. That's all I Or has it? Oh yes, it certainly has. Ewan Wilkinson simply says, not Boyata. <laughs> that's, that's very much what I'm saying. I had Colo Torre available, but his match sharpness was down on that. I suspect Boyata is still better than Sanderos. <gasps> and Joe Cable says, what happened to Helms Deep? I did that against Atletico Madrid and it went horribly wrong and I'm very much in a position where right now it's not, I can't even say it, I can't even say it, I hex it. I need to make another change. Uh, Chopper, who's actually been brilliant today, um, he is fading fast and uh, fortunately I didn't pack another midfielder. Um, so I'm not even sure if I can make that change, I have no one who can replace him. It's funny, you prepare for hours and hours, and then when you get there, you realise you haven't packed your toothbrush or your pants. Three minutes. I do you feel we should have put this to bed by now? There doesn't seem to be any point in dropping back, given that he's pushing forward. I think that would invite pressure. I think just sticking to a counter-attacking. I think that's the way forward. I think this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. 
A lot of people say that when they lose to me on this game. I don't know why. Okay? You know what? Senderos, man. He almost kicked my man into the stadium. He's a one dimensional defender. Uh, I'm going to do a needless late substitution to run the clock down. <laughs> I don't know if it has any effect, but I'll grasp for anything at this stage. Uh, 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 give it, give it. Ho, ho, hooey, 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 hooey. <sighs> Good luck for the rest of the season. Can we go at you twice more, mate? I think we can be pleased with the football we've played. Imme immediate thoughts then, gents? Uh, Alex, what, what do you make of that? I'm very disappointed. I'm bitterly disappointed, particularly it, with Philippe Sanderos. You only have three shots and one on target at home against Celtic in the Old Firm derby. Is that where you came unstuck? What do you think? <laughs> Swiftly moving on to Ian. Uh, I am happy to talk. You, uh, yeah, you, you dominated possession. You dominated chances. Uh, yes. You barely even had to to get to put a foot in there to uh, to get the be better of Alex. How do you feel about that? Very, very, very good. Um, we we did everything I wanted them to do. We defended stoutly and up the pitch, and then we broke hard, and fast, and unforgivingly. I uh, I actually think it should have been more. And can you kick on from here as well? That's the hope. That's the hope. We've got, we needed a confidence building win now. We needed to change the context of our season thus far. And, and hopefully, hopefully that will do it. Um, hard luck to Alex. So we had a lot of injuries coming into this game. Um, it's always very, very difficult. And um, yeah, he'll, he'll recover. He'll recover. It's all part of the process. A long way to go yet. Just a bit of reaction here. Richard Bevan says, Jesus, miracles do happen. <laughs> uh, Ed Freeman says the board won't like that Alex which a uh, bit of an understatement there uh, Gerard Keating says what was the final score it was 2-0 to Celtic Gerard and uh, Kip McQuaid says that's what you get for fielding a broken squad Alex nobody bridging the gap between defence and attack did you even look at how Macca has set up recently oh wow you're getting pelted who is this again <laughs> Okay, so if, given Alex's mood, we're going to uh, <laughs> swiftly move on. And we're just going to say thank you. Um, thank you not just for being here today to, to watch the Bet Bright Football Manager Project. Um, thank you for all of your messages and your retweets. And thank you for being there since the beginning, all the way back in Championship Manager 102 days. Um, it's because of your support and your help that we're able to do this. And now because of the help and support of BetBright, we can do things across the board of the set pieces, um, including our primary objective, paying writers to write. We've always held that very close to our hearts. We'll be in touch with more information on more features. There'll be the same articles that you've uh, grown accustomed to, but there'll be more than that as well. There'll be interviews and little spin-off features. So keep following the set pieces. Keep following the Football Manager Project. We'll be in touch and we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you.